Greetings, Twin Flames. This is Lucida of Twin Flame RX, and I'm here on Sunday, July 8th, 2018, with a reading for Twin Flames for this upcoming week. So this reading is going to go from today until next Saturday, July 14th, 2018. We'll start off with this affirmation from the Angel Affirmation Calendar by Doreen Virtue, and then we'll move to a tarot spread with the Zach Wong, Revelation Tarot, and then I've also chosen some cards by Divine Guidance after prayer and meditation for Divine Masculine, Feminine, and the Union, and then I have some closing cards as well. So we'll put these to the side. So the affirmation we want to start off with is, we are in unlimited beings because God, our Creator, has no limits. So remember, there are infinite possibilities available to us and anything is possible on this journey. So think positive thoughts and help to co-create your reality with those positive thoughts. So I want to thank you for joining again. If you want to book a session with me, you can visit my website, www.twinflamerx.com. I'm a reader and healer, and um, you can find out all the information also about me in the description box below, like where to contact, how to follow on social media. Um, I have all kinds of price points and options available for you. Um, I've been doing this for readings for over 25 years, but I've also found out I was a twin flame when I met my twin two years ago and then, you know, started this YouTube channel with him. So I became more involved on the twin flame journey and helping others, guiding them into their journey, or uh, guiding them on their ascension path and journey as well as helping them navigate the union process. All right, so I'm shuffling the cards right now. And these cards are going to reveal for us what's going to be happening over the next week or so. So the energies have been pretty strong and there's a lot of anger and frustration in the collective that's seeping into the Twin Flame community as well. And um, a lot of it has to do with all these retrogrades that are going on. So there are several planets in retrograde, namely Mars, which is the planet of war. And it's in retrograde, so it's kind of like helping us to look back at situations that may have resulted in us feeling angry and then us keeping that anger pent up inside. And we need to kind of review and release and clear ourselves of that energy now. So, you know, if you're feeling very angry, that's probably why. And I've been helping clients all this past week with those kinds of issues. A lot of anger toward their twins as well. We need to release this anger in order for us to be able to embrace the love for our twins and give them a clean slate so that they can feel safe to come back if we're in separation. But even if we're on if we're in a stage of union, it helps. Okay, so one more shuffle and then we'll look at the bottom of the deck overall energy. Remember, take only what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, so what we have going on overall is the Seven of Wands, and I tend to think of this from this deck as the Light Worker card because it looks like this is a Light Worker. Very passionate, fiery energy going on here, um, battling you know the darker energies, and that's what we're going to be doing this week. That's what we did last week as well. Um, between you and your beloved, we have Two of Swords, so it's kind of like walking a tightrope between yourself and your beloved. Um, but this is also a card of compromise and it's a card of give and take. And this is also a card of like expecting the best, not the worst from your beloved. So giving them the benefit of the doubt and also truce energy. So there might be some of that going on in your union. Uh, we also have this card here, which would be the crossing card, which is either an obstacle or an impetus either bringing us forward or moving us back. So this is balance, justice, the scales of karma being balanced. So, you know, this could work in your favor, moving you closer to union or in the reverse. But hopefully, like, you um, try to balance out your energies with your beloved and balance your reactions and responses to them um, in order to move things forward. The crowning energy is... Eight of Swords energy. So this is kind of like 
the energy of feeling trapped and the energy of feeling pierced by words and thoughts. So you don't have to live in this energy. Um, you can break free from this energy. And how you can break free from that energy is using this kind of um, energy, which is Seven of Cups. We see someone that is trying very hard to obtain love from all different sources, but there's also options here. So maybe choosing the best option of where you want to direct your loving energy toward. And at this time, I feel that directing loving energy toward yourself rather than your twin per se is pretty important. Self-compassion is super important on this journey, realizing that you're a human and you do make mistakes and you know, you will have thoughts that come up and you will have feelings, but releasing those will help you to move forward. And the best option right now is to love yourself and worry about yourself more than you're worrying about your twin, um, because that'll help you to be stronger and get out of those negative thinking patterns. Okay, in your recent past, we have this loving King of Cups energy. So this is the overall like lover of the deck the um, you know feeling of unconditional love and compassion. We had that in the past for ourselves, for our twin, for others. We need to get back into that energy again and not try to spread ourselves too thin because that's where we end up feeling trapped if we worry about what everyone else thinks of us. And even worrying about what your twin thinks of you at this point might be counterproductive. Just worry about your own self-perception. Um, and that'll bring you into these great energies, Ten of Cups energy. So this is you and your beloved sharing the love with each other, um, feeling abundant, feeling happy, feeling content. So these are energies that will come if you release yourself from all those negative thinking patterns and direct the love that you have for yourself toward yourself and fill your own voids that is what you need to do in order to be able to be there for anyone else, including your twin. Okay, so this is how you see yourself. Well, you see yourself and your beloved as happy together in higher dimensions, possibly. Maybe some of you are in 3D union and you're feeling very innocent energy between yourself and your beloved. This is the, one of the most positive energies of the deck. So, yes, like you are very positive and happy about your twin and your twin flame journey, but then you might be not directing your love enough on yourself, directing it more to the twin, and that's where we get ourselves in trouble. Um, so try to remember to love yourself this week and focus on yourself. Um, how others see you as Ace of Cups, they feel like you have overabundance of love to share with yourself, the world, your twin, with everyone. They feel like your cup is overflowing, that you're, you know, happy. But you might not be if you're not directing that love to yourself, if you're spreading it too thin. So I keep saying that, but it seems to be an important theme this week. Now, what you're hoping against is that everything in your life will fall apart. Now, some things need to fall apart, like those negative thinking patterns that cause you to feel trapped. And so that would be doubt, fear, you know, thinking that this journey is a waste of time, feeling like you're beloved and you will never get together or never balance out. Those are the kinds of thought patterns that need to go. So they need to go. They need to crumble like this tower energy. And if all that happens, you know, by the end of the week or the end of this energy cycle, you will be in this queen of cups energy. You will have the energy to give to your beloved again because you would be replenishing your own self-love and that would be giving yourself energy. Okay, so basically self-love is the key for you to come into union with your beloved and be able to give them your true heart. All right, what we have here are, again, the energy cards for the Divine Masculine, Feminine, and Union. We'll start with the Divine Masculine, Soul Energy. So higher dimensional energies, so Soul Energy here. Um, the Divine Masculine Soul wants them to reach their destination and know that their light is shining brightly for others to see, and that involves transformation. Um, so their soul is guiding them. On this journey so whether you think it is or not it is and then their 3d so their heart and mind 
want to experience the bliss of holiday time together with their beloved. So they want that. They're longing for that at this time. And that's because their soul energy is also guiding them on the journey. And this is the next step, is to get some time alone with their beloved. Okay, so for the Divine Feminine, the 5 year soul energy is that of a great adventure. So take a risk. Venture forward. If there's something that you want to do that you've been waiting for your beloved to do with you, maybe you need to just do it on your own. Um, like... For example, I wanted to go to a certain event and, um, you know, there's all these times and dates available that I could go and I've been kind of waiting to see if my beloved would go with me. But, um, you know, we keep having like miscommunications and can't get together. And so I just bought a ticket for myself and I'm going to go. We could always go again together, but I'm going by myself because that's an act of self-love. I want to do something if my beloved is not coming with me, I am going to go myself. And when you start doing things like that for yourself, you're going to see that your beloved will be attracted to you because you're going to be radiating this energy that you can take care of yourself, that you fill your own voids, that you don't need them, that they complement you in your life. They don't make you who you are and they don't make you happy. They just add to your life and add value to your life. Okay, and that results in attraction, but the divine feminine is attracting romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So they kind of go together. Your soul is urging you to do the things that you would like to do. That's going to be attracting your beloved to you. So don't sit around waiting for them and pining for them if possible. I know it's hard sometimes and you do have purging and you do get sad, but you know, do things for yourself and that's going to bring your beloved back to you. Okay, and then the union energy, um, we have the two souls united in the higher dimensions. Um, two souls are saying to go into solitude because that's where peace prevails. So I feel that this means that your higher selves, both you and your beloved, want you to go into meditation or want us to go into meditation and prayer so that we can hear our souls, so that our minds and hearts can be open and that our soulmate can come in, our divine masculine or divine feminine counterpart can come in and we can accept them for who they are because they may differ from our usual type and our expectations you know may be different they may not um, do the things we want them to do necessarily but you know this is why we need to be deep in thought and instead of reacting to um, our counterparts when they don't do something we want them to do or act a certain way or treat us a certain way and we can look into our souls for wisdom and guidance on how to respond more gracefully to that so that, you know, we can continue on our path to self-development because this journey is not really just about us. It's about, or about our twin and us getting together. It's about us developing to be the best self we can be in order that we, you know, continue our mission and that we um, contribute to the ascension process of the planet that we help others ascend. Okay, so we have some cards here that are, um, this one is the forgiveness card. So this is the lover's oracle, and it's a message from your beloved, whether divine masculine or feminine, your beloved's higher self wants to give you this message at this time. It is about forgiveness. The message is stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So live in the moment. Release the past. Forgive your beloved for the past. You can't go back there. Focus on yourself. Um, enjoy the moment, Divine Feminine, especially so that, you know, that is one way your beloved would be attracted back to you. And if you forgive yourself and you forgive them and you treat when they come back like a new, you know, chance, a new chapter in your story, um, releasing resentments, those are blockages that are going to impede you from coming back into union. So if everything is released and you're a clean slate yourself, you give your beloved a clean slate, the union has a clean slate to start a new adventure. Uh, with. Okay. All right. So our last two cards are Divine Feminine and Masculine Polarity. 
And we have one from the Kuan Yin Oracle for inspiration and guidance. So Kuan Yin has this message of the bamboo moon for us this week. Did you know that there are no mistakes in the universe in all events, circumstances, relationships, and situations are unfolding in perfection with the timing and intelligence of the divine plan? Any apparent delay is in your favor. If something is happening for you right now, then that is perfect too. Divine timing is perfection. It is safe to trust this now. So basically what divine timing is all about is when both of your souls are in alignment, meaning that they both did and learned all the lessons that they needed to learn before they got into union or come into union, um, that's part of your soul plan. So it's all like orchestrated by the universe and there may be some delays and you could create delays by not really following the divine plan and going off on your own. That's the free will part. That's just going to delay your journey if you're not aligned to your higher self and the divine and your divine blueprint. But if you, you know, intend to align to your higher self, the divine and your divine blueprint, Print, you're going to find that when you tune into your higher self and you tune into your heart, when you make decisions, you'll start making decisions that are going to put you on the path to getting back together or getting into union with your twin or, you know, getting into higher levels of commitment in the 3D with your twin or meeting your twin for the first time. So basically what you need to do to trust divine timing is to align with your higher self and basically follow the guidance that you're given. All right, and then we have here Archangel Michael who has the message, forgive yourself. So that's synchronous with the other cards from before. Archangel Michael says you've done nothing wrong. Forgive yourself. And the prayer, and after the prayer, I'll send you some Reiki for this week. For you and your beloved in your union. So we ask, Archangel Michael, that you help us let go of self-blame and forgive ourselves. Please guide us in releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others, especially toward our beloveds. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing us to feel centered and at peace. And I'm sending you some Reiki healing so that you can release all the anger, frustration, resentment that you have built up for yourself against your twin, against all others, so that this may no longer be an impediment or roadblock between yourself and your beloved, so that those obstacles are gone, and there may be a clean slate between yourself and your beloved, so that you can start a new chapter of your divine journey together. So I hope you have a beautiful week. Namaste.